Hello, my friends. It's me. I'm wondering how you guys are doing, and I wonder what you're doing to keep yourselves busy and occupied, or anything to get your mind off of what's happening in today's global crisis. Whatever you're doing, just keep, just, whatever you're doing, keep on doing it. Try to get your mind off what's happening on, or what's happening in today's global crisis right now, and do whatever it takes to keep it going as ever. We will get through this. I promise you, this is not the end of what is coming next. Trust me. We we are all we are all in this together and we will get through this as a, we will get through this together. I promise you that. So here I am making another video today. This is Denzel's Artistic Pictures Part 2. I know the first one I showed you was what I drew last time, including a picture of a wrestling tag team I remember very much from Ring of Honor Wrestling. You may know them as the tag team of Kevin Steen. AK Mr. Wrestling, and El Generico, known as the, Ge the Generic Luchador, yes. And also, I did draw pictures for what is coming up tomorrow, which you are all, which you all should be pretty much aware of, which I bet you're all aware of. Tomorrow is April 2nd, and that, my friends, would be, which is now, seeing how we're in April, tomorrow will be no other than, oh yes, uh, to, uh, sorry, let me try that again, tomorrow will be no other than, Autism Awareness Day. That's right. See how we're in April? It's time that we celebrate Autism Awareness Month for those with autism who deserve to be loved, supported, care, and definitely thought about all the time as always. So for today, I want to show you, yeah, so, get, so be prepared for tomorrow as April 2nd comes so we can all together celebrate this day and pretty much care, love, support, and think about those we know with autism very much as ever. So I just want to let you guys know that tomorrow is Autism Awareness Day. Be, a, be prepared for that, not to mention that it's Autism Awareness Month in April, which we are in. I know today is April Fool's Day and all, but I'm just excited for tomorrow because tomorrow means a lot to me. It's a very big day, also as ever. So I just want you guys to be aware of that. So today, I've drawn some more pictures I want to show you guys. So I've drawn some new ones in my sketch pad. So get ready as I show you to it. Just give me one second. All right, here we go. I'll show you some pictures that I've drawn lately to keep myself busy. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna show you the first one that I drew because tonight is NXT and we're gonna be seeing the live matches, including the one I'm definitely looking forward to. Three dudes who happen to be phenomenal Athletes will be going out for one prestigious title, and that, my friends, would be the NXT North American title. Mr. Limitless, who happens to be the title holder of that title, will be defending against Dominic Dijakovic, and the same against the same against the same dude that also. Yeah, let me start over. Mr. Limitless, Keith Lee, will defend the NXT North American title against. Dominic Dijakovic, that's right, Mr. Feast Your Eyes, the Feast Your Eyes Guardian. Also against the very same dude that he and Di that Mr. Limitless and Dijakovic have a problem with pretty much, especially Dijakovic. Last time we saw this dude, Dijakovic was taken out after this dude clocked him out of nowhere with a lead pipe and hopped right into the crowd in a way of high tension so he wouldn't get busted. So yeah, Keith Lee will defend his title not only against Dijakovic, but also against the Archer of Infamy, Mr. Damian Priest, who seems to be getting on my last nerves every time he interferes that doesn't involve him. I still enjoy what Dijakovic called him the last time these two ran to each other, when they tried to go after what Keith Lee still has. He called Damian Priest, and I quote saying this, he called the dude no other than a bootlegged Marilyn Manson, I think a lot of people would get that pretty much because look at Damian Priest. He does look like a boot like a Marilyn Manson. I could tell from Dajakova's I could tell from Dajakova's point of view. Exact as ever. Yeah. So get ready as I show you the picture of what's gonna happen tonight on NXT. This is exactly what's going to happen. And give me one sec. 
Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. I had to check out an email. I had to check out a message that was left on my phone. So that was about it. So where was I? Oh, yes. I'm going to show you a picture of what will happen tonight on NXT's episode. Yeah, tonight on an episode of NXT. So here I go as I show you this picture of Mr. Limitless, Dijakovic, and Damian Priest going to have for the NXT North American title. Hold on, so I can show you a very good look. All right. We've got Mr. Limitless, Keith Lee. And then we have Dominic Dijakovic right next to him. And on the bottom would be no other than the Archer of Infamy himself, Mr. Damian Priest. Like I said, who really seems to get on my nerves every time. He wants something that will make him feel more noticed as ever. And it seems that the NXT North American title will definitely get him more noticed as ever. Let me get this closer. Yep, Mr. Limitless, Keith Lee, Dominic Dijakovic, and of course, you already know Damian Priest, as always. Yep, all right. Get ready as I show you the next picture that's coming up. Now, I drew a picture of this tag team in NXT that I love very much. And these dudes won this year's Dusty Rhodes Classic Tag Team Tournament. And after winning the tournament, they found themselves earning a shot at the NXT World Tag Team Titles, which they scored at NXT Takeovers at NXT Takeover Portland. That's right. After knocking off Fish and O'Reilly for the tag team titles, they've been pretty much good as NXT World Tag Team Champions. And let's just say, if you were Matt Riddle, you will find a tag team partner that you could pretty much team up with. And pretty much a tag team partner that knows something about being in a tag team. So when Riddle found Dunn being his tag team partner, it pretty much led these two working together as a unit and pretty much becoming tag team champions that you've never pretty much seen before. You have one that goes like, bro. And you got the other that loves being, let's just say, he enjoys being much of a bruiserweight. That's right. So here I go showing a picture of the bruiserweight. Pete Dunn and the original bro himself, Matt Riddle, known as the name of their tag team, the Broserweights. And this is them with the NXT World Tag Team Titles. You've got Matt Riddle with the tag team titles around him, and you've got the Broserweight holding the tag team title in his hand on as ever. The Broserweights. NXT World Tag Team Champions. And when this epidemic crisis is over, we hope to see them defend their titles against the next tag team in line. Right now, Riddle just got introduced to a tag team that pretty much came out of nowhere and ambushed him as ever. Owned by a dude named that you may have known in Ring of Honor Wrestling, known as Stokely Hathaway. Now he goes by the name of Malcolm Bivens in NXT. And sorry, I forgot to show you the last part. This is the word that Matt Riddle always says, and which is very phenomenal as ever. Bro, that's right. Matt Riddle and the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne. Let me get this closer, my friends. I think you guys can see pretty much. You've got Matt Riddle on the... I want to say... On the left, you had the wait. You got middle. On, you got Matt. Yeah, I want to say you got Matt Riddle on the right, and you have the Bruiser weight on the left as ever. Yeah. This is them, my friends. The Bruiser weights. All right. All right. 
All right, my friends, I'm going to show you the next picture, which represents for tomorrow coming up. So I hope you guys are amazed to see what I'm going to show you. So here it goes. I show you this to you. A picture of tomorrow's autism, autism awareness day. You can see right here, I wrote down saying, our day will come, my friends, for those with autism as ever. And April 2nd, that's right, Autism Awareness Month. Now, I have one last picture to show you, and I draw these four individuals, even though I hate them very much as ever every time I watch NXT. They seem to be a tag team faction you thought would never see pretty much rise as ever. They remind me how Evolution was back in the day when they were on top of the food chain slash mountain slash throne as ever. And now these dudes are carrying the torch for Evolution just to be in their throne as ever for today. For today, as of, yeah, for today. So, I am going to show you the picture of NXT's most unstoppable and dominant tag team faction ever. Yeah, I'm going to show you the picture of NXT's most dominant and unstoppable tag team faction as ever. Get ready as I say these words. Shock the system. That's right. The Undisputed Era, as I show you a picture of them right now. Hold on. Sorry about that. Let me try that again. Sorry about that. All right. Here I go showing the picture of the Undisputed Era. Number one, you've got Adam Cole. Number two, you've got Roderick Strong. Number three, you've got Bobby Fish. And number four, last but not least, you got Kyle O'Reilly. When I look at these four, they may be who a lot of people don't like very much, but you gotta admit, they've been pretty much unstoppable as ever. I mean, last year they may have vowed and a prophecy to be draped in gold, and they pretty much got their wish as Strong scored the NXT North American title, and both Fitz and O'Reilly scored the NXT World Take Team titles multiple times, and Cole, he, yeah, Fitz, Fitz and O'Reilly, yep. Fish and O'Reilly scored the NXT World Tag Team titles multiple times. And Cole got what he wanted this whole entire time since he came to NXT. And that was the NXT World Title. So there you have it. You've got Cole. Strong. Hold on. Sorry, sorry about that. Fish and O'Reilly. And O'Reilly as ever. So, all right, there you have it. That ends for today. I'm showing my artistic pictures as ever. I will return with more poems as part of Denzel's, um, how can I say this? Denzel Claus's poems, part 10. So, for right now, all I'm doing is making a video showing you my artistic pictures as ever, just to keep you guys busy and occupied, so you can get your mind off the global crisis that's happening in our world today, that's happening in Earth today. And like I said, we will get through this. This is not the end. I promise you, this will come to this, this thing that this epidemic will definitely come to will come. To, yeah, we will put an end to this, and we will all get back to our normal lives as ever. I promise you. So hang in there. We will get through this together. And trust me, you are not alone, my friends. Hang in there. That's all for today. Thank you for your time.